We're here in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Mustang Owners Museum. And this museum doesn't open to the public until tomorrow, Mustang Day. This is where vendors at the event that gave us early access to check out this amazing collection of Mustangs. Now that Mustang's an icon, it deserves a place, right? But it wasn't, and the, the corporate museums are different. And this, what I like about this place, is that the enthusiasts got together and said, look, if Ford's not gonna do it. We'll do it. We'll do exactly. it, because the love for the car exactly. is. Exactly. So basically there isn't like a set criteria. When people hear, you know, museum, they think, uh, uh, basically the example, the Poppy Red over here. It's yeah. a beautifully restored. Awesome two-street car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, you know, it's just perfect, meticulously restored. Um, that's not the case. Like we want to showcase the owner's car. You know, the true, true street car, the fully restored car. We've got a low mileage um, 89 Fox body. I down saw that, there. I like saw we, that very cool car. We want to showcase the ones that have stories. So obviously there's all kinds of Mustang celebrities here at the museum. We're here with Kevin Marty from Marty Auto Works. You guys know him from the Marty Report. So tell us what you think about the Mustang Owners Museum. What's your opinion of this display they have here? The, the first thing I'd say is something for everybody. The, uh, True. the cars here, it's just, it's phenomenal collection. You've got everything from that Western Mustang that you can kind of see right down at the end. Hardly anybody knows about that car, but that's a real cool piece. I've always wanted to see that in person. Very so it's cool. a privilege to see it. SSP Mustangs uh, over there, you got all the pace cars, all three versions all of, of the covered, pace yep. cars there. One of the most interesting ones, do you know about the 69 Mach 1 that's actually uh, a, they took a new Mustang. We saw that, skin. the black one in the exactly. corner. Yeah, very, yeah. very it's, cool it's car. A, it's skinned like a 69. Uh, but it's but, all modern. But it's all modern. Very, you know, very cool. Ultimate resto mod, right? So obviously there's a huge museum here. There's 40, 50 cars. What's your favorite? What, if you oh. had to pick one to take home today, which oh. one would it be? Oh, that's always tough. <laughs> the, uh, I still haven't um, decided either, but yeah, I've got a couple. That's, that's there's my a trouble. couple on my list. Yeah, that's the trouble. I, I, I'll like, I like Perry's car. That's the uh, that's that aquamarine one. The that convertible. Was, yeah, that was awesome uh, car. You know, that was all in the Ford family originally. Yes, yes, the, very uh, cool car. Uh, Grabber Blue is always a good one for me too. So the that's one is badass. Over there. Yeah, it is. The '64 pace car is talking to me over there. That's uh, one I'm I a hear fan you. of. I hear you. <laughs> that is one I'm a fan of. But but then that that barn over there that's showing that uh, barn find. Always always I'm, fun. I'm always attracted to restorations. What are your thoughts on this museum? Your first time here, obviously, like us? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, we've been waiting a long time. Yes, yes. And, uh, I mean, <laughs> it's been I, long over two. I remember when I was at Auto Week, uh, I remember John Coletti was the Ford uh, Mustang program manager. Sure, sure, John. He sent awesome me a note man. about build a museum, and I ran it in Auto Week, and I said, hey, we're going to build a Mustang it's museum. It's been happening since, what, 89, probably? You, you, somewhere in that neighborhood? We're looking at now the, the fruition of. 30 years of planning. It's a long time. Yeah. And then, you know, another 40 years. The Corvette years. beat us to it. Well, the difference between this right now and the Corvette Museum, I can't find the sinkhole. It's saying no sinkhole, yes, which yeah. is good. We like that. <laughs> Probably one of the most, I would say, important cars here at the museum is the Black Horn. Now, this is part of Carroll Shelby's collection. This is an experimental coupe they use for all kinds of different things, including 428 Fitment. Very, very cool car here at the Mustang Owners Museum. There's obviously tons of cool cars here. I mean, pace cars, SSP cars, Roushes, Celines. This one, obviously one of my favorites. I'm sure you know why. Without this gentleman, we might not all be here today. We might be doing other things, driving other types of cars. I think you know who I'm talking about, Mr. Gail Halderman. Woo!